We will call her Sarah, but it's not her real name. She was defiled by a stranger on her way home from school. She was then only 13 years old and in primary seven. But because of bureaucracy, the perpetrator escaped, leaving her eight months pregnant. Sarah is not only bitter at the unknown man responsible for her misfortune, but also afraid of the complications that come with childbirth, especially for teenage mothers. Because I am, I am not prepared for giving birth. According to statistics released by the Uganda Women's Network Secretariat, UONET, of the over 7,000 girls defied last year, only half of the suspects were arrested. In the same year, 520 women were raped, but only half of the culprits were arrested. Among the many limitations allegedly delaying or frustrating the victims' efforts to seek justice is the police form which is filled out by a designated police surgeon confirming that the girl in question was defiled. Without this, then there is no admissible evidence. Further, there are only seven police surgeons in the whole country. This vice is commonly and most found in the communities due to the lack of information, lack of knowledge, cultural attitudes, at times even religious beliefs. That's where we find rape. That's where we find defilement. But that's